Three months ago, I sold my rental house for triple what I bought it for, and then I put almost all of that money into MVIS. It's time for an update. I mean, it's not like I can sugarcoat it. Everyone can look at where the price was in late July and then look at where it is now. I'm down somewhere around $50,000 on this bet, but I'm so confident that this technology is a big part of the future that I didn't even set a stop loss. Currently, I hold 10,298 shares of MVIS, which at the time of recording this is worth $95,668. When I put in this last bit of money, my account was looking pretty good at about $140,000. So clearly I was wrong on the timing. And after listening to this most recent earnings call, it sounds like the most likely timeline for this thing to grow fruit may have been pushed out by up to another year. But I'm comfortable holding as long as it takes. What do they say, I, I like the stock? This part is obligatory to say, I'm not telling anyone to buy Microvision stock. I'm not paid by anyone to talk about them and I don't know anyone in the company. And actually, the only money I've pocketed so far from Lady Mavis is when you guys watch more than five seconds of the ad that pops up in front of these videos. But if you're following along on this journey, fear not. My wife still thinks I'm smart, I still have a salary, and in fact, just a few weeks ago, I entered into another fairly expensive financial roll of the dice when I put $40,000 on some credit cards to start up a Bitcoin mining farm. There should be a link popping up right here to that video, and actually, that project is already up and running, and I've more than doubled my salary in the process. Microvision's stock price has dropped about $4, which is like 30% since I made that investment. But fundamentally, nothing has changed in what I see happening in the future. The roadmap remains the same. It's just hard to see the metaphorical distances between the metaphorical cities on our road trip to Elysium. The real life human roads though are indeed going to be filled with electric vehicles in the coming years. And we're gonna want them to drive themselves. LiDAR is a super powerful sensor that's gonna help enormously with that. And Microvision even mentioned working on a custom ASIC built into their sensor that will take the processing load off of a car's computer. This may be a bigger deal than people seem to be making out of it. Self-driving takes a lot of processing power. An ASIC is an application specific integrated circuit. It's basically a super specialized computer that's only good at doing one thing. And in this case, that'll be for parsing laser beam data into 3D rendered environments for car computers to use for not killing children or running off the road. This whole play is a speculative bet into an emerging market on a product that isn't even for sale because it's not done being created all the way yet. It's in, I believe, the final phase of testing and iterating, but you can't just call up the headquarters and order yourself a LiDAR. They're not ready yet. When I read arguments that MVIS is a bad buy because they just spend money but don't make any money, that's just invalid. The guy who came up with the vulcanization process for rubber, Mr. Goodyear, did his experiments and his research in an attic over the span of like eight years, selling everything he owned and running away from creditors, making no money until poof, he perfected his product into what we know as car tires today. That story left out about 6,000 details. But the point is you don't make money during the process of creating a world changing technology until that technology enters the world. If and when it does, you make a lot. Microvision has shown off its hardware and it's better than the competition. They've hired dozens of new employees, lawyers, and leadership. They've opened new facilities and set aside the development of their other technologies to go full steam into LiDAR. These things to me point that something happened, something's in the works. The target is for 2025 model cars, but the deals are gonna need to be inked. The production facilities are gonna be set up far, far in advance of that date to make this all possible. Remember that none of the LiDAR companies are in any cars yet. They're in projects and they're in little self-driving taxis, but no OEM manufacturing manufacturers have any LiDAR yet. Not only is MVIS not behind in the race, but there's gonna be more than one winner. Luminar did sign with Nvidia to work on the vehicle reference platform, but that does not equate directly to any number of units being manufactured. Plus, there's no reason not to invest in them too. It's dangerous business to bet on a company that's creating a thing that no one has, with the expectation that it's gonna be basically ubiquitous within this decade, but that's what I'm doing here. So, how's my investment doing is in a lot of the comments about my earlier video about this buy. I have the same number of shares now as I did then and my expectation for what the future holds for LiDAR and for Microvision in particular are as encouraging as they've ever been. My advice, hold.